Did you just die? Yep. Oh no. <laughs> she died, dude. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome out to the vlog today. It is a cold night out here tonight and to stay warm, we've got a little bit of a fire going, which should keep everybody nice and toasty. We got some Star Wars stuff going on over here, iPads being played and just trying to have fun out here with the weather being a little chilly. What are you playing? Uh, I'm playing the tycoon where I can build my own um, section where I can do parkour. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm building a parkour map. What do you like about the parkour stuff? I was building it a lot of times and it's very good. Oh, that's cool. Now we're back here in the shop and I just wanted to talk to you guys about things that's been going on over here. And the first things first, this week's project that I'm hoping to get done, it might be a split video, is creating a coffee table out of these pallets. These pallets we found on the side of the road, they barely fit on top of our car and they have really good lumber on the very top. They're really thick. These are about an inch and a half wide and there's plenty of slats. And I was thinking these pieces right here could be used as legs. Not this one though. This one's all jacked up already and I don't know. I wouldn't want to use that one anyway. So I think that these are going to be some coffee tables coming up. At least one coffee table because that's what we're looking at. And I don't know. I think that this is going to be a really good option. It's going to give it that rustic look and also use some of that old English stain that I've been using, which I love. I, I absolutely love the color of that. It's a little bit lighter than the special one that I've been using, but still a dark color. All right, so lately I've been trying to get more into reading. I never used to read it and I didn't really enjoy it. I finally said, you know what, I'm going to start trying to read woodworking books and see how that goes. And I finally got some books from eBay. I got two books. This is the first one, A Splintered History of Wood. This thing is very entertaining. I really enjoy it. It's got all sorts of information in it and I'm only on page 106. It's got stuff about the history of trees, the different types of lumber that people collect, how much collections people have. There's tons of wood species it talks about. It's insane at how much information is already cram packed into just the first hundred pages of this book. I highly recommend it. It's a Splinter History of Wood by Spike Carlson. You guys can find this on eBay and it's really cheap or actually just go to Amazon and get it there too. But I didn't know how well I was going to like reading. So I went to eBay and got this very cheap. Alright, so now that we got the book chit chat out of the way, I ended up getting some mail this week with something that I ordered not too long ago, actually probably in the beginning of October. But I've been waiting for this, waiting and waiting, and I see everybody else has these and likes to do different swaps and stuff like that. Well, I have finally gotten some stickers. These are two and a half inch by two and a half inch square stickers. They're I like them. I think they're pretty cool. I've already got one up on my bandsaw. See right here my sticker, my bandsaw. I love that I have a sticker of my own on my bandsaw. So now that I have stickers though, that means that I can trade with you guys and get in on the action trading stickers and workshop stickers and stuff like that. And I really like seeing everybody's decorations, I guess that's what you would call them, about how they have their stickers. People made sticker boards, sticker all sorts of sticker things. They've got uh, Steve Carmichael has one that ends up spinning around in a circle, which is pretty cool. And I have lots of room. I can put them on my bandsaw. I can put them up here on my hanging tool chest. I can do all sorts of things with them, all sorts of places they can go. So if you guys want a sticker, let me know. You guys can leave a comment down below and we'll talk about trading stickers. Or if you would like to buy one, I'll have them for sale on my Etsy shop. I think they're probably going to be like $3 a piece maybe or maybe $2 and that includes the shipping so super cheap and if you guys do purchase a sticker of course it helps support the shop and everything it does with all its time i am very busy all the time i do have a full-time job and this is more or less a hobby 
very fun hobby so you guys supporting by buying stickers is amazing and would be great so you guys can look at the link below and follow that link purchase a sticker for a couple bucks help support the show all right next thing all right so the other day one of my buddies was talking to me about having some logs at his mother's house that she had been wanting to get rid of for quite some time and they didn't really know what to do with them and i said you know dude hook me up with some logs and so he ended up dropping off some black walnut logs the other day. A couple of them looked kind of iffy and maybe a little rotted and I wasn't sure about it. So I took them out back and I started splitting them. What a mistake that was. When I started splitting them, they were good. They were excellent. They were awesome. So I ended up getting really distracted from doing anything, stacking them or anything like that. And brought a, one of the halves in, cut it in half on the bandsaw. Yeah, this bandsaw here with my sticker, my logo on there, that bandsaw. And I cut it in half, and then I cut it in half again, made it easy enough to handle. Then I took a uh, compass and made a little circle of it, and then I hooked it up on my lathe. It was extremely fun. This is the actual first bowl right here that I really ever turned that I was really happy with. It has amazing colors to it. I didn't know black walnut was like this. One thing that sucks though is that it's got some tear out on the end grains. I guess my tools weren't sharp enough when I was doing this, but that's okay. I learned a lot about it. I really like the shape of it. I left a, let me put the dog down. I left an inner little lip right here. Just some extra wood in there. I left a little lip on the outside or on the top on the inside. And I thought that was a little bit different. I don't Somebody's probably already done it, but you know, I haven't seen it. And then on the bottom, it kind of slopes in and goes straight down. So that was pretty fun. I still really want to get like a one of those four jaw chuck things that I can really mount this on and then maybe get some better tools too. You know, that that would help if I had better tools. I used the Harbor Freight set and it's okay, but I don't know, it doesn't cut as good as I think that some of like the easy tools and stuff like that would cut. Nonetheless, though, I think... Hey, quit biting on the book. I'm trying to read that. Anyway, I think that this turned out really well. The inside of it is really well done, I think. And it's got nice flat edges all the way around. It's not all, all in and out and stuff like that. So it worked out really well. I was really happy with the outcome. And I mean, I'm not going to sell this one because of the ingrain tear out. So it makes a perfect bowl for my house because it's got the imperfections in it, right? Everybody loves their own imperfections. I also worked on this back wall some. I was tired of having the two person saws hanging up on the rafters. It was kind of dangerous, I guess, because they could fall down and they have fallen down a couple times. But I was tired of having them up there. So I hunt them up on the wall. I don't, I don't ever use them. I don't have somebody else that would want to cut a log like that. So yeah, I hunt them up. And I like the way that the wall looks now. I think it looks pretty good. But that's it, guys. I have nothing else to share with you today for this vlog. Hope you guys were entertained. Remember, grab a book off the internet, off eBay, off Amazon. Read it. I'll let you guys know what the other book is when I get done with this one. And hopefully the next one's just as entertaining. If you guys are interested in getting the stickers, remember, we'll swap, we'll trade, whatever. Or you guys can purchase one and help out the shop and stuff like that. You guys follow the links before. It's going to say, hey, buy stickers here. So look in the description for that. Look for more black walnut projects, probably like bowls, plates, different things like that. Maybe even a bottle opener. We turned the acrylic one the other day, and that was really fun. I would love to make one out of the black walnut and see the colors out of that. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you guys are new. There's plenty of woodworking stuff on here on this channel. Check it out. Look in the playlist. And as always, I will see you guys on the next video.